All right, so today we're gonna start on the block for old yeller. Got it back from the machine shop. Got a board hone, all that's done. But these spindly little factory studs are gonna go. We're gonna drill out all the stud holes. We're gonna go to half inch studs. And we're gonna use this sweet little jig setup here from Tick Performance. Start off, we got a couple of dowels to line the jig. Plate bolts right on. Got us a couple of adapter spacers here. Hit these four inner. And we'll take four of the stock bolts. And we'll start by getting this thing clamped down with that. Okay, now we got the plate bolted down. Got a couple little spacers for the drill tabs. All right, so we got our guide in there for our drill bits. Now we want to measure in with a pair of calipers here. Because so we got to drill first the shoulder clearance down to the threads. So pull our measurement here. And we got 250 and on here from the last one I did we had 2.52 so that's how deep we want to drill our clearance hole and then we got to measure down as how far our threads go and we're right there at our 4250 so our numbers are good there this is a Gen 3 block, so our corner holes are shallower than the rest of them on the block. With two different size studs. So, we need to check our clearance. Hit the deep holes as well. Looks like we had 4.98 to the threads before. Like on this side, we're getting close to a little 4.8. There we go. Yeah, 4.99. We had 4.983 before, so we're good on that. Let's check our full depth. At 6.080 before. On these ones here, we're getting 6430. So, this block's got a little bit deeper holes, but that's why we go through and measure everything every time. So, we'll go ahead and write these numbers down and we'll get to drilling. All right, so we got the six holes drilled that we can get to. So we're gonna roll this block over and we'll blow these holes out, get everything cleared up, and we'll set them up for the next step. All right, now we got those holes blown out. Now we gotta to switch to our 2764 pilot bit and guide. And we'll take this guy. Now it'll go down and it'll drill out the threads so we can go through and retap it for the larger studs. So we'll get going on these. All right, we got all those drilled out. 
Now we're gonna blow out all these holes again, brake clean them out, and then we'll set up the tapping jig. Not terrible. No. Right on the edge of the box. Now we got our tap jig. Take one of our lock nuts here. So now, got the tap. Feed it up through the bottom like that. Set it down in here. It drops down. Hits our guide there. Can't forget the can't forget the goods though. A little bit of rapid tap goes a long ways. Alright, we'll go down, we'll tap that in, and the first one will be ready for a stud. All right, so we got the four outside and the two center ones tapped. So we're gonna get some studs put in. We got Gen 3 blocks, so we got shorties in the corners. All the rest of them are long. So, we get all these guys put in here. And then we'll loosen these up. We'll switch a couple over so we can hold the jig down. And then we gotta do the same thing over on these center four holes. So we'll get these going and then we'll get after that. new studs are in it got swapped down so the jigs held now we can do the same thing on these last four holes drill tap and put the new studs in and we'll be ready to move on to the heads and drill out those All right, there we go. Got the rest of the holes tapped, studs are in it. Just like that, we've got half inch head studs. Flip it up, got this side done as well. Now all we gotta do is set up the jig on the heads and all we gotta run, do on it, we gotta run the clearance hole through so the half inch studs will clear the heads and then they'll be ready to bolt on. But hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with all your friends and we'll catch you guys on the next one.